And look at that cob. That was a cob. It's a beauty. Yeah. Are we going to go for this? And the rig, what have you got? Um, you got your drink? Why have you got your drink? Just in case I'm thirsty. Good lad. Two feet up. Watch your head. In there, push it down. And then we pull this, don't we? Yeah. Make it tight. Whee! Henry, do you think we should get a new okay, tractor? Yeah. How big? The height is this. The height of this car, new tractor. What are we going to go see? Maze. Maze. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell. You get notifications of our videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do a Sunday video. In today's video, it's a Sunday video. It's a super Sunday. It's a super Sunday. Dad's here as well. So Hi. Guys, so and we've, got, we've got my grandson, Henry. Say hello, Henry. Hello. We're going to go see Henry. Maze. What are we going to go see, Henry? Maze. What are we going to go see, Henry? Maze. <laughs> and how tall is it, Henry? Too tall. Too tall. Okay, so obviously I've got my nephew in the nephew in the car. My sister's doing a walk in the lakes. Uh, me and Dad are going to go look at some maze, Father and I. Should we go for it? Are we going to go for it? I have no idea what the video is going to be titled. But we have had a Highland cows over there. Had a big move around. Oh, congratulations to Wearing Steel Frame Building. They just won an award in London. Uh, they won a few awards actually, but one of the awards was for our building that was in um, the farm building in 2021 for livestock for the efficiency for the actual building itself. I don't actually know the criteria, but congratulations to Wearing's legendary company. There's some cows in there. Uh, there really? the, there's, one, there's one by the fence, so the chances yeah. are up on the top. I hope so. Yeah. Anyway, in today's video, as Henry has shouted a few times, haven't you, Henry? We are going to look at some maize. We got the opportunity about 10 days ago, two weeks ago, where my godmother, Godmother Ange, she offered us, well, Charlie, her son, offered us 10 acres of maize to have a little bit of a play with. Unfortunately, my mind is not on maize at the moment. My mind's been on a parlor. My mind's been on everything else but it. If we were thinking of maize in spring, we'd have done everything to make sure that our clamp is empty and ready for some maize. It's only 10 acres, but 10 acres is about, the equivalent of about 40 acres of uh, grass, you'd say? Or, uh, yeah, potentially. They say four bit, to one, normally. Yeah, it's a, yeah, four to one, three to one, definitely. Potentially four to one. Volvo's fast. Volvo's fast. I'm going under speed limit, just let yeah. everyone know. Yeah. Thank you for that, Henry. Rack me out to everyone. Where is it, the maze? That's the go and see Uncle Tim. So, yeah, we've got the opportunity to look at some maze. And we are flirting with the idea. I I don't think we're ready for it, personally. Hang on. There's a crop of maize there to is the right. crop of maize there. And that field is lower than the road by at least two, three foot. That field's are eight, possibly eight, nine foot tall. It is a good crop of maize grown by Tom's godmother, Tim. Uh, it's a top mother, too. Angela. Oh, Angela. No, you have to, you'll have to edit that out. <laughs> but they don't mind. So they are good at growing maize. That's a big, good crop of good maize. Good crop of maize. Yeah, so we're looking at 10 acres. The price is on the high side a little bit but it's whatever maze is i've we've never bought it before i've never done maze before so dad actually gave me some reading for it last night because we we said no dad's obviously been ill the minute dad's ill or dad's off work in the office money is spent on little things on little but we'll go into more things later on um, i've never done maze you've done maze a few times yeah, haven't you dad yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to have a look. We'll just say hello to Tim whilst he's here and just say which one we're looking at. So we're going to have a look at the maze and see what we do. We have kind of come up with an agreement a little bit, haven't yeah, we? Yeah. They're going to clamp as much as they can because they're worried about how much storage they've got. And the plan is, if they've not got any, list, not got any leftover storage, we're going to put it into our clamps. So we're going to have a look at it and see what we think. But the other idea, which I think is a better idea, they clamp it all and then we'll cart our Keenan this way and fill it up every day or every other day but we don't want to fill up too much because i don't want it to go hot it's not like we've got the biggest herd in the world but it is a job and really i want to get them on grass and then put the maize in to see what the yields and performance of the cows will do for like a month because you need a month at least yeah. and with the parley you can see it daily the reaction so with this bad weather that's happened this week the uh differentiation i think yeah. of uh, the bad weather and the feed and i sent them a different way because we do some muck spreading you'll see the video soon it was 11 percent, so feed intake changed by 11 percent. mad oh the detail is incredible so that's why we're having a bit of a flirt with it seeing seeing the idea first we'll go see the field that we're going to go speak to him see what field we're looking at and then we'll go to take a look at the maze product has to work for us that's then it. see if there's a difference within the cows for the product, then let's look at the economics of growing the product on our Everyone farm. always says maize is a really, really good it's idea. Good feed. Uh, it's a good it's feed. feed, it's great Fantastic. feed. Uh, a, is getting it off is the problem. Yeah. B, is the cost of buying the maize makes you a bit more milk, but is if it's just going to make you 
the same, well, it's just going to cover the cost of making the maize. It's not worth doing, if that yeah. makes sense. It's got to make you a little bit. If the cows perform better and getting calf better, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, well, you've got to look at the finances over and above the just the the, the physical thing of growing this crop. Um, but it, it does have advantages. The numbers don't make sense. It, it does have sense. advantages if you want to reinstate some land, if you can get off early, put grass in after, or put a wheat crop in after, go for a whole crop, then go for a grass crop after that, after you've whole cropped wheat. That ain't this year, though, is no, it? No, it's not this year. This year, year if you got your maize it, off, you'll be good. Oh, well, yeah, it will come off. it'll come off. It's never failed. You always get it off. It's just whether you <laughs> you look at the field after and go, I can't go in there again till spring. You, you've got to sacrifice the fact you're very lucky if you get on the field shortly after, if you have a bad time. We'll go into more on that in a bit. Right, we're just going to speak to Tim. We're we'll speak to Tim. Tim. So we just spoke to Tim, um, who Tim is Godmother Angie's husband. Yeah. And Charlie, who is Godmother Angie's son, has just gone to go look at the maze and the maze isn't the stuff that we just passed there it's actually through the farmyard isn't it? tractor <laughs> that is correct obviously henry is mad for tractors we need you we're going to have a look at your maze all right can you show us the dry way to get there in this oh but not that down there no i don't think so so we have a look at that one maze is maze you look at down there all right okay Right, we'll park up on the road and we'll do it that way. Okay. Here's Sam. Hello. Sam's in charge Charlie. of me. Yeah, Charlie. Charlie, Sorry. close. <laughs> He's his big brother, Sam. Big brother. Yeah, big brother. That's, that's... Down there. It's straight across the driveway. No doubt. No, it, your dad says that's a better crop. It is, but you don't get there with it, the... Oh, it's down the bottom, past the wood. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I can see it. It's gooey on top, isn't it? Yeah. Maze, maze looks good. It's just not got through somehow. It's, you know, it'd be better having that down across the road because it'd be oh, easier, wouldn't it? That's right. Well, we've discussed it with your dad. He might have mentioned it to you. I, I said, well, what you do, you put in what you can here. Yeah. When you get down even to the last five acres, we're making room at the moment yeah, to yeah. clamp it in our place. Tough to agree with you, but put what you can in here till you say that's it. And, and yeah, yeah. we're ready and we'll put what we can at our place in front of yeah. our first and second cut over at home farm. Then we'll have to sheet it up. Worst uh, case, the ag bag gets something stupid. No, like cost, no ag bags cost, are horrible. Cost too much. And they're, they're, they're such a mess. And you've got to have concrete to put it on anyway. Yeah, just just me, father and Charlie, have just been thinking about this maze. And I was like, I thought I could put it on the first cut clamp. Yeah. And I'll tell you the plan we just thought. But we need to see the maze first. This video is about maze. And we've had about probably six minutes of no maze. What do you want to see, Henry? Maze. 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 Well, actually, we're not going to see the stuff down the road because we'd never travel. Your dad said we would. Charlie says... No, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, it has been a mega wet year. So, right, we're going to see this other stuff that we just had a look past. Across each other. Yeah, please. Cheers, Charlie. Don't want to be in the long grass. Do you go my shoulders? Are you guys going? They've gone. Show sure you're comfy. What do you mean? You comfy up there? Yeah. Happy? Quick. Do you want the hat on or the hat off? Hat off. Off? Okay. Are you happy there, Henry? Yeah? Let me know if you're not, okay? Yeah, squeeze on. So we're going in, are we, Henry? You've got the best view here. Yeah? What? <laughs> How is it, Henry? Don't go too far, because this boy's got shorts, so I don't want to cut his legs. Here we are. We Hiya, Henry. Hiya. Can you see the elephants? No. Are we in the giraffes? Uh, right. <laughs> okay, so I'm just trying to get a view of... Oh, God. <laughs> Don't grab on, grab, grab, on. Hold of his hair. grab hold of his hair. Grab hold of his hair. Grab hold of my hair. So obviously I'm very fresh to maize. So when we're looking at a maize crop, what are we looking at? We're looking at the cobs. The cobs is where the energy is. The cobs is where the starch is, and that's what we're looking for. And we look at the cobs and we look at the kernels now. The kernels are the sweet corn a bit. Sweet corn a bit. And we basically want it hard, cheesy, not milky. Hard, soft that's cheese. Fantastic. And this is almost past it, to be honest with you, for harvesting. This is as much starch. The starch goes down the kernel. Yep. The, the kernel fills with all that white stuff is the starch. You get that as a milk line on it where the milky stuff is. And this has dried right through to the core of the cob. As you look at the cob, to me, you look nice, big, full cobs. A lot of people are so fussy and sort of like anal. They like to count how many... Uh, kernels are on each one. And Is that true, Charlie? We definitely don't do that. No, <laughs> <laughs> they do, don't they? They go around and say, oh, that one's, so, yeah. that one's got 14, that's only 11, that's 12. But obviously the bigger, the fatter cob. But also it's how much is in the kernel. They have yeah, yeah. one of these right through the middle of it. Good, yellow on the outside. These look bloody good cobs, to be honest with you. 
for me, and I don't do as much well. I did a fair bit of maize, but I've not done anything. That's what years. our first cut clamp. That was a maize clamp. Yes, that was maize. Back now that day. back in the day. Now, so the cobs are there, the starch is there, which is the starch you want to drive the milk. No, no sugars, it's all starch, the energy. It wants chopping, and it'll, it's soft enough, as long as we get... Just. <laughs> yeah, as long as you get the corn cracker yeah, yeah. on. He will have it on. He there. will have it on. So we've got to look at making sure that every one of these are cracked yeah. enough so that the cow can absorb the starch that's in it. So that's important. But the next big thing is, there's still a lot of green in these leaves. So what does that mean for it, someone? It means you're getting some of the protein that's in it. Basically energy in the leaves, some of the chlorophyll, rather than being a hard, just that. woody, st that. Okay, cool, yeah, that's yeah. a good, uh, yeah. So, so a lot of life. Like this, like this. Yeah. So yeah. like, but obviously um, the extreme. It starts dying a bit. It dying. Right. Yeah. It's ready for off this crop. And the stems aren't that big. When you look down on the side, they used to be very, very big stem stalks, the older varieties. But the newer varieties are slimmer because the value in that is very, very little. It's like bamboo, we, isn't it? Yes. So they basically, you set your chopper, wants to be at least like a foot off, doesn't it? Mm, like that, yeah, yeah, a foot off, because there's no value in that. All it is is billy fill. You put in wood and deal as wood or yeah. uh, bamboo into your clamp. This is where it is. Once they just catch the bottom leaf, and that's all you need. The that's bottom the bottom leaf. Especially, it's and then you'll have a, a child higher quality crop. Yeah for what you're getting. You haven't got the volume. I don't think any of us need the volume this year, the way grass has grown <laughs> and what have you. And look at that cob. That was a cob. It's a beauty. And you see, with the chance, we always do this, it may, if you put them like that, the chopper may get it. <laughs> That's a dairy farmer if you've yeah, ever yeah, seen Don't waste the cob. <laughs> just done the same. It's just done the same. <laughs> there we go. Don't waste the cob. I mean, there's 40,000 plants to the acre, that's what you sort of grow. 40 to 45,000 plants to the acre, or seeds to the acre are sown. I'm as green as you guys with this, right, by the way. See, that's, that's the sort of normal rate. 40,000 gives you a slight less density and hopefully uh, a better maturity. But these are oh, all well matured. Oh, What's up? What are you saying, Mr. Henry? I say cut. So they, cut. 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 Right. This, this doesn't look as quite as big as cob as that one. No. However, they are hard, aren't they? So they're ready to go. They're yeah. ready to go. We're ready for chopping. When, they, when the ground's dry. <laughs> well, uh, here, it's not bad right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like everywhere else. Yeah, yeah the, you know. The dike's still full. So. Well, well, it's not, giving good weather, isn't it, this yeah. week? But I don't think the dikes will ever be low again. I mean, the way our Very environment nice. people go, let's if you want So more. do we need to. I should probably do another video about what's not yeah. happened. Yeah, that's another day. It's, it's just a minefield, isn't it? So yeah, yeah, yeah. They've not even cleaned our ditch up two years now. Two years. Uh, and it, they do ours every year, but it's not done I yet. can't yeah. open them. No, you can't what are you open? What are you trying to open? Yeah. Hopefully you can see that, by the way. It's quite hard when this is a full maze crop going yeah. on. But yeah, so you don't want to waste it. Good lad. Go 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 uh, so you were looking at, uh, it's eight foot tall. I mean, these leaves have got a fair bit of um, greenery in them, a bit of life in them yet. And That's, it's tall enough, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it's tall enough. Yeah. Well, Charlie's six yeah. foot two. Yeah. It's two foot high, taller than him. And if you can see from the drone shot, it's a clean field, isn't it? It's even. Yeah, yeah good there's field. There's obviously showing yeah. there's no, no flooded spots. The crop is back. even from the start to the yeah. finish. We'll go back. Yeah. Yeah. Should we go back just to the entrance? Because Henry wants yes. to go back. We've we'll looked at it and we'll have a discussion what our plans are of it. Are you ready, Henry? Yeah. How are you feeling? Yeah. Ta da! Oh. Wow. Henry, did we find an elephant? No. <laughs> no elephant. Right. Are you, do you want to get off? Are you happy? You. Get off. Get off. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, three. For ten acres. No. Yeah. Oh, no, the the lad, well so, we have a bit of a plan. Me, Charlie and Father had a bit of discussion. Charlie what, did have space now and we were going to chop it all there. The idea was to bring it back to ours, put it on the first cut clamp, but that would be a pain in the ass because you yeah. can get waste on... A lot of waste. Maze. It wants to be well compacted. It do not want shoulders. That's where you waste. The heat gets in, steams up. Yeah. Wants to be behind so the, the wall. Other, the other thing was Charlie to the chop it all and put it into their spot because they've got rid of most of their straw and most of their barley now. But I've just thought of another idea. You haven't seen this video yet but we've just got rid of a lot of muck at home. So we might have some space in the muck heap. Yeah. Do we power wash the muck heap off, get that cleaned up and use half the muck heap? You think we can make a wall, don't you? Yeah, T temporary wall for this year. If it works, it works. We can look for some wall um, pillars 
after that. I don't think you're making some wall out of straw. So wall out of straw. get ready the for that video. Not, the straws are hardly not fit for anything else. When we get, <laughs> yeah, when we get it off, yeah. you know. Oh, you'll yeah. see a video coming soon of us trying to get straw off. We tried this week and it didn't happen. So hopefully again, <laughs> it comes dry. Right. So the plan yeah. is, yeah. are we going to go for this? Yes. There we go. How many acres are we going to go for? Ten. Ten acres. Give yeah. it a go. Oh, everyone keeps saying I should do it. I'd like to grow it myself, but obviously Charlie has 10 acres here. Spare. spare. So we're going to take the 10 acres. And if it does work and we run out, we could always bob down if you've yeah, got leftover yeah. stuff. We could do what we said we were going to do yeah, yeah. or bring it by trailer. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. It is a Sunday video. Henry was the star of the show, weren't you, Henry? What did we see? <laughs> Amazing. 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 The crop looks good. We're going to go for it, I think. God, was it the right decision? I think so. Well, we can give it a go anyway. Give it a dabble. Have a play. Right, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for the support so far. Do appreciate it. We've got grass to chop as well. You see that video very, very soon. Anywho, see you in a bit. Bye. Oh, Dad, how are you feeling? They're asking. Great. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, to be honest with you, I feel better now than I did the week before I went to Dorsmittal. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, there must have been something wrong with me. Yeah. So, so the last video you saw on Friday, it was actually before Dad went away. So I wasn't making him do loads of work. He's not back at work and he can't even drive yet. So that's why I'm not I allowed to drive. drive. <laughs> have, you, have you nicked some sweet corn? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you going to say bye to everyone? Bye-bye. Bye. See ya. Big wave. Bye-bye. See ya. See ya. Bye.